Hi Virgo, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot, formerly Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your love reading for February 2019 for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages, whoops, may or may not resonate. Now I will show you that the Eight of Swords fell out. However, I was not channeling to get their messages. Um, this may be significant it may not be so we're just I'm gonna put this back in the deck if it shows back up again then there's something here that they needed you to know okay um, so again some of the messages may or may not be resonating if they don't don't try to fit it just leave the message as it is I will try to give more than just one so do continue to listen and uh, see if you can pick up on anything here um, and if you need a personal private reading, there's a link in the description box below. Just click on there and that will take you to the different services I offer through the Instant Go app. Okay. Um, now I'm a little behind on catching up on those readings, so I'm hoping to catch up on everything on Saturday. Um, okay. What is Virgo? What's going on with Virgo? Love messages for Virgo. Oh, I'm going to use the uh, Rider weight Tarot deck. I'm going to clarify with the mini Rider weight Tarot deck. I also have an Oracle deck that I recently purchased from Etsy called Untamed Truth by uh, Rachel Carangella. Okay, very beautiful illustrations on this deck. And then um, I'm also going to use the Romance Angels deck to pull some love messages. Alright, I think I've talked enough. What are the messages for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Spirit, please give me messages for Virgo for February 2019. Okay, starting with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm sorry for the blur, I'll try to hold the cards up. And the star. Okay, right off the bat, there could be a connection with possibly a younger earth sign um, or and an Aquarius. But there's also, um, let's see if I can get this to um, focus. I don't know why this, I think it's just the lighting. Um, There's definitely an offer coming to you in February. Could be from an Aquarius. It could be a financial offer. It's just, um, you know, a proposal for something that has to do with a financial, uh, with money or a gift. Okay. Um, but it's not, it, it's, it, it's, it just, I'm picked like, so I have this visual where, um, like someone doesn't necessarily come to you physically like or come right to your like in front of you to give you something it's more like um, they place it on the table and they basically say if you want it come get it <laughs> it's kind of like that right that so that's like the first visual I, I get because the Knight of Pentacles, you know, this horse, he's just standing there. It's not moving. It's kind of like if you want it, come get it. <laughs> That's really what I'm picking up here. Um, again, now this could have something to do with uh, the star, but I, there's some kind of a, um, whatever this thing is, whatever this gift or this coin or uh, something tangible, whatever's being offered to you um, will renew something renew your faith or your or your hope I, I kind of feel like for some of you the offering is on the table and you have to trust that it's for you it's like right there it's right there and you have to have faith that this is the right thing for you some of you are renewing your faith as well, and you are either 
going back to church or you know this is your offering <laughs> to your faith of some sort okay so a couple different messages here but this is and you know so it's a love reading so this can be uh, anything that uh, encompasses love with anyone doesn't it could even just be for yourself okay um, sometimes I think I know and, and, and rightfully so that sometimes people will click on my videos and just want to know about a relationship with you know a romantic relationship and sometimes they don't get that and then they get upset and so I have to reiterate it's the umbrella of love and whatever that covers anyway um, so let's pull some clarifying cards here to see let me try to get this to focus hopefully it will refocus itself uh, to see what is happening here with this star card and for some of you you have an opportunity I was just getting this you have an up oh gosh you have an opportunity um, for fame as well it's right there for you to have it's there okay and fame could be it could be a local <laughs> A local star some of you are in you know acting or singing or entertainment anything some of you could be readers here on YouTube or doing things on YouTube or starting a business that puts you in the public eye um, as a, like viewed as a star um, you could also get an opportunity from someone or someone offers to pay you for being in that position at this time Okay, um, if you're already in that in a position like that, you you could also I mean I will say at least on the romantic front, be getting um, some type of a, a proposal. You could receive like a ring, or it could be an engagement. It could be from an Aquarius or um, something that renews your hope or faith in a relationship as well. All right, clarify the star for me, please. I have like coffee on my card here. Page of Wands, yeah, there's messages happening here. Messages from an Aquarius or um, there's a crush as well. You may have a crush on someone or they have a crush on you. <laughs> and the Ace of Wands, oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's um, a passionate new beginning happening here. An offer, whatever this offer is. This could be sex as well, but there's some type of um, there's someone who wants somebody who wants to have sex with you, Virgo. <laughs> Definitely, somebody's making an offer. Okay, I don't know how much more I could say about that. I don't know if I'm not if I if I pick up anything else, I'll say something. But uh, this just fe feels pretty straightforward. <laughs> The page of wands is you know messages about growth it's kind of like childlike um, it's fun playful type of energy something it could also be connected to a child too uh, some of you have a fire sign child um, and that you're praying about or saying prayers about and hoping uh, trying to help them and uh, um, hoping for their growth as well and I, I want you to know that you know you're renewing your faith in a child or renewing your faith and praying about a child this is actually your prayers are being heard okay you will start to see some growth and change happening with whomever you may be praying about for some of you and when I say child, it doesn't have to be a little child. It, you could, you could be in your sixties and have a, a daughter or son who's in their forties. You know, it's your child. Okay. Next set of messages. You've got the tower. Oh, and the four of wands. Some change happening in a family situation. Sudden change. And I'm going to clarify that because the tower doesn't. Uh, the tower. You know it looks like death and destruction of course and and it is in some way not not death but it's it's 
shedding the snake skin. <laughs> some of you are, sh are, you know, shedding some snakes who've been in your, <laughs> in your life. Um, destroying of old, the destroying of the old, sun shift, sun change. Um, this can be a retrograde as well. Uh, feeling where we're getting rid of, uh, re, re, we're analyzing our situations, looking at a marriage, um, moving, moving either into a marriage, committed relationship, family situation, or moving away from it, putting an end to it, or starting something new with that. All right, but we're going to clarify to see what the messages are there. Because a Four of Wands is a celebration. You could have um, family members or uh, some type. You may have been um, estranged from some family and uh, there's a sudden shift or change. Perhaps they reach out to you in February and um, wish for you to come celebrate something with them or there's going to, you may be finding out about a wedding between two people. Um, some of you are finding out um, uh, a friend of yours who is getting married uh, is marrying someone of the same sex that's a shock to you that you didn't even know was happening and you're celebrating with them there's some type of a shift or shock or change that has to do with a family or marriage situation now let's again i keep reiterating that but let's clarify oh see it was coming up for a reason and i'm glad that i pulled it and showed it again okay So sitting on the tower, um, there is something that you, uh, okay, so you know what, before I move on, I want to, I want to clarify the four of wands before I just keep going. Okay. So this may not be re related to this here. This could be something completely different. Some of you could be finding out about someone who's getting married or getting into a committed relationship that kind of um, affects you, has a mental effect on, on your, your ego or your mental um, you, safety. But there's also this, um, so there's two messages. So you could be finding out about something like that that affects you mentally. And makes you feel trapped or uh, like a victim in some way and this person um, you know this situation is causing uh, defensive energy okay the other message that I'm also finding out is um, that I'm picking up is that um, breaking out of where you may have been for quite some time you may have been you know in the past stuck in this eight of swords energy where you felt like a victim or felt trapped unable to get out and now um, you know what some somebody is getting out of jail I'm gonna say that okay somebody's been uh, either bailed out of jail or is is up for parole and is getting out of jail and um, will be fighting for the family now okay you could be getting out of jail and fighting to hold uh, get your family back as well you or another person that was coming through to me very clearly um, or trying to protect you you could be connect, you could be in a marriage or in a, a relationship with someone and connected to someone and somebody else is coming out of jail and there's this uh, your uh, somebody is going to be protecting their marriage or their relationship or their family it could be out of fear of somebody uh, being released from something or from from a prison or something along those lines so those some of the messages coming through let me see what else I'm picking up here I know it's blurry sorry I don't, I don't care I can get the messages here 
and so there is an energy to um, perhaps you fighting uh, some so it doesn't also have to be gel it could be um, coming out of this uh, some type of an addiction or coming out of a rehab um, or getting away from uh, a marriage or a relationship with someone who was quite um, overprotective. So uh, several different messages here. And so I'm going to move on to the next set. Okay. That may not apply to you. It just, it may apply to another listener. Okay. And it's not necessarily a warning. It could be, but it's just um, something I've just, I don't know. It just was coming out. Sometimes I don't even know. <laughs> All right, let's move on to another set of messages for Virgo. Okay, strength card, infinity symbol. This is a card of Leo. Death. So two major arcana cards here. This is also, so the tower represents, um, so we have on the board Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Scorpio again, and Leo. Okay. Gaining confidence to make a change. Gaining the courage to make a change with the death card. Feeling confident about some type of a transformation that's happening. Okay. Um, let me clarify these here. Clarify strength for me, please. I love when the clarifying cards <laughs> are also major arcana. <laughs> All right. There's definitely some communication happening in the month of February. I will say with a Scorpio, and there's also an energy of possibly letting go of a Leo. Okay, so that may work for some of you. Apart from the signs, sometimes strength comes in letting go, not in holding on. Um, and I feel like you're realizing that in February, <clears throat> the greatest courage that you could display is not always to fight, but to let go, to not get involved, or to uh, also gaining the courage to see a situation in a different light. You could be getting communication from someone in February that would like to try to overcome some problems that may have you may have or have had in the past. And um, I see there's an energy where you might be actually taking a look at this situation and seeing it from a different perspective, changing your perspective, and but focusing mostly on keeping things calm and trying to stay calm because the hangman is very static. And sometimes this represents um, faith to me, having faith In more religious terms, some, uh, this can represent, you know, Jesus on the cross. For those of you who indulge in, um, you know, that that type of religion, which, but however you take it, it's fine. Um, because it sits under the star card where I was talking about faith and renewing your faith and having courage and strength, and and perhaps for some of you. Renewing your faith in some way is bringing about major change and better communication between you and another person. So, um, kind of like that song, um, Jesus Take the Wheel. I feel like that's your song. <laughs> um, uh, whether you guys believe in Jesus or whatever, it's I'm not trying I'm not going in either direction here some of you do some of you don't it's it's fine with me um, but that song comes to mind and, and it's not so much about 
Jesus says it is about <clears throat> letting go and letting the universe, letting God, whomever, take control of a situation, letting that, letting that energy flow through your life. It's kind of like the hanged man is, <clears throat> you know, the hanged man's like uh, just letting go and, <clears throat> excuse me, seeing things maybe in a new perspective, but not fighting anymore, not fighting something anymore, just saying, you know, I'm here. I'm stuck here. I, can't, I really, I've tried everything. There's nothing more I can do. And I just have to gain my confidence and courage back and just let it go. Just let it go. And I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, in doing so, that brings major transformation and um, new beginning in communication that allows you and perhaps another person or other people to actually work through and resolve conflict. Because to me, that's what the Ace of Swords is. It's truth. It's, it's having that truth, being able to discuss those truths and, and to say, you know, okay, you know, it takes two to tango. How do we solve this? How do we solve this situation? So I feel like for some of you, that energy is happening here. I see you really just have, strengthening your faith, letting go letting things be just staying focused on what really matters staying focused on the facts which you're very good at virgo um you're very good at not <clears throat> playing yourself um you see the truth you cut right through and also um having communication with other people where it's effective and saying you know something let's let's just let's forget all the fluff and let's just get straight to the facts here and straight to the matter so we can resolve any issues because I, I don't see you spending your time in fluffy clouds and, uh, you know, rainbows and unicorns. I just don't pick that energy up from you. Maybe other Virgos who aren't listening, <laughs> that's them. But you here who's listening, I don't feel like that's your, that's how you operate. That's not your mojo, you know. You deal, st uh, Virgos would always make the best detectives or lawyers <laughs> they just deal straight with the facts of of situations um not perceptions not opinions but what's tangible and what's right in front of them and i feel like in order for you to be able to <clears throat> um you're letting go of fluff if you've had fluff you're like you know what no more fluff these are the facts this is what it is it's cutting straight through to the heart of the matter and inducing change okay and again as i was saying either you know, there's definitely communication here for some of you with a Scorpio. And there's also a letting go and letting things just be with a Leo. Okay. I felt the need to say those things. So let's move on to another set of messages. This could also be, you know, these other people giving you straight communication you guys you guys overcoming some ops you overcoming problems with the scorpio and um they could be initiating with you some truths to solve things or resolve some conflicts and uh, the strength card could be leo who's letting go of something and just you know leos like to fight but leos also know when it's time to fight and when it's not and in a particular situation, Leo is just accepting things and just doing, you know, they're not, they're not succumbing, but they're not fighting. They're just letting it be. So if you're connected to someone for whatever reason that something was going on with this person, I, I feel like they're waving the right flag, the white flag. Um, they're just letting it be in February. They're letting it go. Um, so let's move on. Another set of messages here for Virgo. Ooh, Virgo, you have the Ace of Cups. Definitely new love happening for you. <laughs> Everybody likes to get these cards, huh? The end of February, possibly, or any time in February. There's... um. A new offer of love coming to you could be from a Gemini doesn't have to be could be anybody um, could be following this here uh, someone makes an offer possibly marriage commitment proposal 
communicates to you that they love you. Someone may tell you they love you. There could be, you know, some Valentine's messages coming in here. <laughs> or somebody, whoever you're connected to, or could have been connected. We'll clarify more. Some of you definitely from a Gemini. Okay, if not a Gemini. Um, and, and it could be, um, you know, also, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be um, um, uh, any any person. You know, and it doesn't have to be romantic love. It could just be someone that, you know, makes an offer here for healing because the Ace of Cups is a healing card as well. Healing family situations, healing um, new key emotional developments could be a message about a birth uh, that comes to you or pregnancy. Something that affects you on a very emotional level. So let's clarify the Ace of Cups. All right. Could be coming from an Aries for some of you. The Emperor. Doesn't have to be. Could be coming from a father. Estranged from a father or um, someone in a position of authority. Who it could be somebody new that you're meeting. This person could be in the military or um, have it like an authority position, um, could own a business, be CEO of a business or, you know, they're very commanding, not demanding, they're not rude, they're just very commanding. They sit atop, you know, on high and their, their career and their family life and who they are. Someone could be an older person as well, someone older. Oh my goodness, the Ace of Cups. Lots of love coming in here. <laughs> There's lots of love. So some of you Virgos could be meeting someone new. This person could be a father, has children, could be your father reconnecting with you. Um, I feel like, I hope that um, for those of you who at first decided not to continue listening to the reading and then said, oh, screw it, that's what you get for <laughs> being patient and open and listening. This is beautiful. I want to clarify one more time, the emperor. Yeah, you've got like, you've got triple love coming in in February. It could be a new, someone meeting new, someone new dating opportunity. Uh, this person um, is all about the love. Yep, could be a water sign as well. Who sits in authority? Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces? Um, male or female? If it's a male, this person's a bit more on the beta side. A little more feminine. But appears to be quite uh, macho, demanding. And if it's a female, you know, it's a female who sits in a position of authority. Um, it's very emotionally connected and very emotional, um, but c displays herself as someone who's quite powerful. Okay, so it could be either one. So let's see what your love messages are from the untamed truth. Not necessarily love, but just your oracle messages. Okay, Virgo. Choice. Okay. You've got some kind of decision that you have to make. Some of you, that resonates. Some type of a decision. Could also be um, love coming from also an Aries and a water sign, or your parents, okay? Reconnecting with your parents. They're, they're, they, you could have parents who are renewing their vows, or um, it could be two older people that you're connected to going to a wedding as well. Maybe some of you don't want to go to this wedding, but it will bring healing. I mean, I don't know who's getting married in February. Some people have Valentine's weddings. What's another message for Virgo? It 
could also be two people um, that you're connected to who are having a baby. Okay, you've got air. Hmm, air is interesting. So there, th again, it could come back to an Aquarius for some of you. A choice between um, an air sign and somebody else as well. Aren't these cards beautiful? I love them. Let's look up air and see what air is in this book. I don't know the this, as I said, I just got this book, so I don't know all the meanings. Okay, so it says, it says, you may be some, sensing something new on the horizon, so trust in the changes up ahead. Air reminds us that there is much more to this life than we can physically see. Air is a powerful element representing the mind, wisdom, and spirit. Air is also symbolic of our awareness and the vitality of breath. Okay. A choice, too, about mental clarity, gaining mental clarity. Uh, if something's coming to you that just kind of is shocking or whatever it is, try to focus on gaining mental clarity, make a decision to be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Okay. Um, this definitely ch change in communication as well. Somebody may make a choice to communicate with you because air in the tarot represents communication. The air signs is of course. So there could be a choice about communicating with someone again or whether or not to communicate with someone or someone's making a choice to communicate with you. So let's pull out this um, couple of cards from the Romance Angels to see. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Some of you have been focusing on that, that's for sure. You've been setting your intentions for, to bring the soul, your soulmate to you, and that's working. Whomever your soulmate is, this could be, again, it could be a child, a relative, a romantic partner. And you've got new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So again, for some of you, you know, these double Ace of Cups, there is someone new coming into your life that stirs your feelings. And it could also be um, a stagnant situation that is renewing and stirring up new feelings of love again. Okay, and that's what the air is. Air is not stagnant. <coughs> air is always flowing. So a decision is being made here. A choice, a decision needs to be made about communicating again with someone to bring out those emotional, those uh, that emotion again. And I feel like it's... it's I feel that there's a very healing element that's happening here as well. So some of these messages were kind of, there were several in this last block here, but you know, take whatever works for you. And I'm sure there's like a million more things I could say about this because so many messages come to me at one time. And my videos would go on for like hours. So if you want to get a personal reading, of course, again, you can just go to the description box below and click on the link. Um, and I'll get back to you um, as soon as I can. I'm just going to leave your reading here for now. Um, I will see you guys in March, but I do hope that you have a very wonderful, beautiful Valentine's Day and a, a um, fantastic February. And I will be talking to you soon. All right. Take care.